Hello everyone, here is a short video on how to use the Mentella generator and PC's back history NG in both its EXE and Python versions. It is a tool that allows you to write backstories for NPCs so that the Mentella ILS mod takes them into account when generating responses. This tutorial will go slowly. As you can see, there are two official versions of the program, one in executable format and one in Python. Both are virtually the same, but the Python version will only run if you have the necessary tools on your PC, while the executable will run on almost any PC. Starting with the executable version, it begins with different directories. I packaged it this way to avoid annoying false positives, Inside are the files that the program uses, such as icons and images, folders, and texts. When running the main program, it will move and displace the data files to the exterior to be used by the program. Things like background images, destination folders, etc. As you can see, the program has different sections. Let's start with the name. In this section, you can write the name of the NPC. It can be any name, an existing NPC from the game, or a new NPC. Remember that this refers to the NPC in the game. With this name, Mentella will identify it. In the next updates, I will add the location by ID. This also defines the name of the JSON file. I asked some questions using the ID method, but I haven't received any answers. I hope to have them soon. voice model section, I added the names of the original voices from the game. But if you have a voice that is managed by another means or you create a .ong's voice, you can add the name by typing over the section. In the race section, the original game races are listed. But if you have an installed race or another one, you can select it or write it. Gender, just choose or write the one you like. But I'm not sure if Mentella will execute them correctly if they are outside of those. Species, here you can define the species of the NPC or write something if it is not listed. Consider vampire as one or human. There are more. And yes, you can add giant, tranac or others, no problem. Token limit. I incorporated this section with a basic reasoning of how long the story is getting, as AI models have a limit of free tokens per day. Most use one token per syllable, so the more syllables the biography has, the more tokens. However, don't worry too much, it's not that 1000 tokens are used in one go. It seems Mentella reduces this biography, and it usually takes fewer tokens. But if you exceed 1500 tokens, the model goes a bit crazy, hence the limit. I also added the method of the modder sigil, which is from his own Mentella character generator, which had some issues in EXE and is only available in Python format on Nexus. I added to my executable this function of having different sections to give different positive and negative traits randomly to the NPC. These buttons have comments. But in summary, the Create NPC is the button that is selected once the entire biography is written and organized. Once created, the JSON will be generated. The biography section is intended to speed up the character creation process, having predefined paragraphs and adding them with just one button. You can also assign references to mods or engines, more complex personalities, and you can create them yourself. By entering the folder that contains them, you create a txt file and fill it with the content or paragraph you want to add. Done, it's that simple. You can share these paragraphs or codes among yourselves. In my case, I will upload some examples. But I will also upload some that make the NPC spicier, you know what I mean. In addition to that, the biography has no text limit. 
but I suggest not exceeding 1,500 tokens, because free models go crazy with so much text, but paid models do not. So take the program's tokens as a reference. You can write the story yourself without using any biography. This tab is more intended to add features or connections, like with different action engines, or remember quests that only the AI knows, like if the player gives 10 chicken breasts to a vagabond, the NPC will want to be your wife. I know it's a very random example, but you can write it here. For now, this does not initiate animations, but it makes the NPC consistent with the mods or events, and their responses will be better suited to the situation. When exceeding 1,500 tokens, the visual bar will disappear. I will fix it in the next update. Coding stuff. And as I mentioned, if you press the button to access the behavior profile, you will be able to create the TXD files or paste the ones your friends send you. Remember, this is what you can do up to this point. Finally, I will be able to simply write a way to win the hearts of all the grandmothers in Skyrim with this. Very well, continuing with the sections, the biography reading section allows you to load the stories written by you or others in this program. That reminds me, you can save just by pressing the blue button, and that way the file that Mentella will read is generated. To see the generated NPCs, just click on this button or I left this here, I'll delete it in a few moments. I'll show you how to build your mind yourselves. Here you can see some stories that I have created on my own for NPCs, you can also select them from the program. If one does not show up in particular, just restart the program. It is the story of Sarana, but with modifications so that she falls in love as we progress in the story. It is also more daring and like the Sarana add-on, although I added that she would accept my harem route, it is simply cinema. Finally, to the last button, with this you can package one or several biographies to be installed as mods. This requires the SKSC DLL that will be on Nexus or GitHub. This manages and organizes in Mentella. When you press the button, the section will appear. Write the name of the mod you want, then choose which of the files to include inside this mod, and that's it, the mod will be ready. Enter the folder that contains them, and the mod will be packaged and ready to share. Inside this mod, you will find two folders. One contains the JSON files and is managed by the DLL, while the other folder is for textures. Inside, you will find a texture in DDS format with the same name as the mod. You can modify this to your liking or add your own logo. I left it here because mod organizers like MO2, Vortex, and NMM cannot understand that JSON files are part of a mod, so adding the texture makes them consider it a mod. And that's all for now, I will be adding more options to this program as I will use it a lot. I have some permissions to create stories for some NPCs for mods, and I will upload the examples SFW as well as NSFW, you know what I mean. Besides that, if for some reason you have too many things on the screen and want to return to a clean template without leaving the program, just load the JSON none, that will clean everything. For the Python version, it is lighter than the EXE. It is small but has the same functions as the EXE, as it is the matrix. Use whichever version you prefer. It will also have a GitHub page for you to review and leave comments.
I take this opportunity to tell you that Mentella can be installed for free and used for free, without censorship. I will make a tutorial another day. It is exactly the same as the executable, but remember it will only work if you have Python installed on your PC. It is a very good language to work with. If you want to modify an NPC story or add their background and want to know what voice and race they use, use the internet wikis. As you can see, the Python version, if you open it with a notepad, you can see the code. It is divided into parts and separated by space when they are very important sections. This modular form makes it easier for me to add content or review problems, but this is not relevant for a user. Well, in case you don't want to use the DLLSKSC that manages the biographies, you can add them to your Mentella yourself, as shown in the video. There is a folder on your PC, documents games, and in that direction of the video add your JSON. The SKSC DLL will do all that process and organize the mods from the mod organizer by itself. That would be all for the program that is capable of creating the JSON of the biographies. Now, an explanation of the DLLSKSE that I created to manage the stories, and you can upload your stories to Nexus for others to try. What can I say, the DLL is a mod. On the Nexus and GitHub page, it is detailed how it works, so I will summarize it. It analyzes the JSON files that are in the Mentella back history folders and makes a copy of these in the Mentella destination before each game. If the JSON has any changes or modifications, the change will be made at the start of the game. If you disable the mod or uninstall it, the stories will not be deleted, but will be deactivated by sending them to the repository of unused characters folder that will be in the same character overrides folder of games. I did this to avoid losing information, or if someone installs the mod and already has their characters created, but not in mod format, they do not lose their stories. So if you have JSON already in the Mentella folder, assemble them as a mod, and install them in your organizer, that way the DLL will manage them. Nothing simpler than that. Many thanks to the beta testers. The only inconvenience I found is that it does not work entirely for Wabajack users, but only those who use Wabajack and have like five different disks, and in each disk have a part of mods, as if in C they had the game, in disk D the Wabajack, in F the MO2, and in G the Wabajack mods. That drives the DLL SKSC crazy, and I programmed it so that if it finds the Wabajack discrepancies, it will simply deactivate and leave the LOD with the data in the SKSC folder. But in itself, for normal Wabajack users it should work. But for the other normal users of MO2, Vortex or NMM there are no problems nor is the game version a problem. Well, the video is long. Ironically, I had the program and the DLL done weeks ago, but this video took me almost four full days because I decided to create tools to synthesize voice more efficiently. It's like squeezing a lemon, but I have to 3D print the juicer. I use the Piper program for the voice, but to input the text I created another program that creates Excel to organize these texts and with a button generate the voices. For those who don't know, my equipment is not top of the line. My processor is $4 on Aliexpress, and my AMD graphics card is for mining, so I do what I can with what I have. Si quieren modificar alguna historia de NPC, o agregar su pasado. If you want to modify an NPC story or add the I also created another program that reduces the base of the generated audios to insert them into the video. Si quieren modificar alguna historia de NPC, o agregar su If you want to modify an NPC story, 
I would really like to train my own voices since the Skyrim ones are not available in other languages or in better qualities, but for that I need a cue to card, and my budget does not allow it. Well that would be all for the first version. I will add a tutorial on how to use Mentella AI for free without censorship from the AI models, so you can fulfill your missions and not receive negatives from the AI. I am working on that now, but I will also continue working on the animation packages that I have to upload. Also, before the new year, I will upload the update of all the animation packages I have for Austin. I will include a tool that will make alignment work easier. Regarding this Mantella Back Histories program, many NPCs have inconsistencies, especially mod NPCs. Also, I get attacked a lot for the same reason. With this, I even managed to form a harem. My god, what a good mod Mantella is. It's like what happened with Pandora, it's very niche, but in the future, it will be a great tool for everyone. Also, it's free. In my case, I already managed to create animations and models in Blender. I have to deliver animation packages and programs in mod format in DLL, but Mentella just appeared to consume my time. But it's ready now, at least the basics of the program. Now I will focus on animations and more mods. <laughs> Thank you all guys for this year. I didn't think people would like my mods or my contributions that I generally make for myself and don't share, but now I do. I will upload the version of how to use the AI engines in Mentella without censorship along with some texts to interact, but that will not be on Nexus, you know what I mean. Besides that, I want to thank my Patreons, I didn't think I would have so many, but especially the guys from Ko-Fi, since their contributions go directly to my pocket, I can eat with that from time to time or buy parts for the PC and keep modding. Thank you very much. If you know any way to make money, let me know, but I do the mods for my NPCs. Thank you for watching the video, see you in the next one.